everybody this is a demo of the new features couple of new features that have been implemented into jupyter lab requirements um most of them are in this manage dependencies pop-up window and are related to ui so if we just go through a little example you start adding packages before you could just these are just straight text boxes and there was no hinting at if it was a package or not you could type anything in and it would accept it, um, but fail later on. So say if we start typing in some packages, you could see like, oh, that's a package, or maybe this isn't a package, but we know that photo three is a package we might want to add. And then from here, we can look for versions. So this, instead of just the constraints being a type box, a text box like it was before, we can add constraints. So say we want to add this version and maybe this version, and then we can add different constraint operators. And then from here, if we want to be even more fancy, we can go in and add in star selectors to really customize what we want. And then we can go in and add as many as we want. So let's, let's add pandas. And this is grabbing from the Thoth uh, knowledge graph for versions. So you'll see later down there'll be warnings if it's not from Thoth. But this is this uh, UI is only available if Thoth knows about the package. And say we'll add something that Thoth might not know about, like Kafka. So we know that Kafka is a package because it's showing up here as um, with the description of it. But you see it's not popping up this information box like we saw before up here. Um, that is because Thoth doesn't have any uh, version information on Kafka, which is fine. So say we just want it to be equal to, like, not equal to version 0.0.1 .0 or something. And then we'll do something else, like say this is definitely not a package and this is definitely not a version. So then we can we can still add it and still accepts that. And before that, we would have no knowledge of that being an issue. So when we go into save it, we go into options, we're uh, presented with these two warnings now saying, okay, you know, this is an error that package, this does not exist on any index monitored by Thoth. And if that is a mistake, we can open an issue. Um, same thing, package Kafka is not known in Thoth knowledge graph. So it's a little bit different issue saying, it's a package, but it's not known to Thoth at the moment. And then we can open an issue to have it added. And that just opens up that uh, GitHub uh, um, issue template for requesting a package to be added to the knowledge graph. And a new, just a plain UI update is the, uh, the form was updated. So you can still switch between pipenv and Thoth resolution engines. But the form has now got a new uh, material UI kind of update. So everything looks a little bit more cleaner and more laid out. And you can still add all the settings you did before, except we have these options, these uh, warnings now. And ideally, if there's any of these warnings here, you shouldn't install it. It's, it it'll let you install it, but ideally this will say that there's an issue. Like if I, for example, you see that this warning saying, because we're using the Thoth resolution engine, if we switch to using pipenv, we're only gonna get a warning for the package that doesn't exist. That's because this will work with pipenv, but because we're using now Thoth, now it's not gonna work. So there, those are the two new features. We have the autocomplete, and then we have the new form, and then we also have these uh, warnings. I think that's it. That's uh, pretty nice. Um, it feels like uh, it's getting to a usable state uh, from a UI point of view. Uh, could you open it again? Um, yeah. Because I think um, one comment worth is um, if you're going to look at the packages, the package names is coming from PyPI API or That's from right. Toth API. Okay. So, so basically every, every package that we're going to find on PyPI could be added. But the constraint itself is uh, getting back to TOS uh, knowledge graph and really figuring out what do we know about that specific package. 
Right. Um, cool. And the actions, I think you always clicked, uh, you're in an edit mode right now. That's what these uh, three icons say. And then you're mm -hmm. going to click on the plus sign because you want to have it added to the list of dependencies, right? Yeah, so there's um, a little bit about sort of this flow. A lot of this will change. There's issues in the backlog saying like this extra button that we need to press is going to be removed and be replaced. It's it's going to be all automatic. Um, so a lot of this sort of like extra flow that we have to go through will not be there anymore. It's it's going to be more of just you add a package and then this will update down here. And also, I think we talked about in a tech talk one time if we want to even include pipenv as an option. So that might change some of these warnings and change how we right. get packages. If if so, you change the resolution type to pipenv, you still get the constraint drop drop down. Yeah, so this doesn't change. These uh, constraint drop downs won't change, um, because this is independent. How it's all laid out in the in the source code is this is independent of this. So. Which is which is why it makes it difficult to, I guess, uh, use this as a prerequisite for this, and that's why we ended up deciding we might just drop pipenv if we want this to be like a Thoth resolution engine window. So from my point of view, this is a pretty good work in prototype, right? You can do all the things uh, that uh, make sense. The data comes from sources uh, that make sense. Mm -hmm. The user experience, the the flows might be a little bit clumsy. Maybe the UI, I don't know if, if that needs a revamp because of uh, design is different or something like that. Mm -hmm. But that is all not stuff that is um, that important. From From my point of view, we can manage dependencies. We can show, ah, they are coming from Toth. We know a little bit about uh, these and that versions. Uh, actually, the feedback to Toth um, is is good. If there's a warning, open issue is uh, the right action. <clears throat> I don't know if we would or should automate that um, because why why should I have uh, a human intervention to open that issue? But again, yeah. that is um, absolutely okay to show that stuff off. Um, exactly. Um, so so feels to me like a good prototype. Is that something that we should show to the um, Jupyter Lab or the Elira community again? Do you feel like, ah, this might be handy for these people? The new UI? Mm -hmm. um, I think this, uh, this in particular, this, this maybe not the specific dropdown, but this idea of this dropdown to pick exactly what you might want would be useful. And definitely mm -hmm. these warnings right here would be useful. As for the UI, I think that's up to however they want to design things. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, other questions, comments? Nope. Thanks, Gage. Awesome. <laughs>